Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm going to give you an overview of this case here and I'll just read through uh, the, the article too just to make sure I, I don't miss any of the key details. But to give you an overview to begin with, this scumbag here whose name is Scott Schollenberger Jr., 43 years of age, he's been convicted, he's been sentenced to life in prison after confessing to abusing and starving his son. Um, his son was called Max or Maxwell Schollenberger. He was 12 years of age and he was beaten and starved by the father to which the father has confessed and he now faces life in prison. Uh, Maxwell, the boy's uh, death occurred in May 2020 and he was found in a uh, dead he was found dead in a feces covered room he was dehydrated starved and naked he weighed a mere 47 pounds um this scumbag here is uh the father's fiance and they had three other children that lived in their home Thankfully, those three children were fine. They weren't abused, seemingly. Uh, they weren't abused, but they were told to completely ignore the 12-year-old who was beaten and starved to death, Maxwell. Um, so she is also a scumbag. But let's have a, a look at uh, some of the other details. So the father, Scott Schollenberger Jr., 43, pled guilty to criminal homicide endangering the welfare of a child and conspiracy on both counts uh, he kept maxwell in the darkened room which only had a bed no furniture uh no light he blocked out the windows he beat and starved maxwell the 12 year old the other three children were fine they would they did not suffer abuse um the the other three children the article doesn't explain it particularly well in my opinion but i believe some of the children of some of the other three children are the scumbags children he's the biological parent and then another at least one other i believe is from a previous relationship that kimberly maurer the fiance fiance was in so an autopsy found that Maxwell, 12 years of age, weighed 47.5 pounds, 47 and a half pounds. He died of starvation, malnutrition and blunt force trauma to his head and body. So starved and beaten, as the headline says. Um, he wasn't allowed to leave the room. He was locked in that room. And one child recalled the boy screaming when the couple would go into his room. So the other children were aware that the 12 year old was being locked into this room and being abused. Um, but the other children weren't directly abused themselves. But of course, uh, just being in the proximity of this situation, being aware of this situation is going to cause untold psychological damage, I would imagine. The article tells us that the boys biological mother her name is sarah coon um had maxwell uh, taken away from her uh, when he was a toddler after some people felt that she was irresponsible um, and so she seemingly had some psychological issues the mother sarah coon was guilty of self-harming uh, i don't know if guilty is the right word but uh, seemingly she had some issues going on so the boy maxwell was given to the father, Schollenberger Jr., who had full custody. And unfortunately, he abused that custody to the point of killing his own 12-year-old son. Um, he's ineligible for parole, and he's been given life imprisonment. imprisonment. Um, the fiancé's trial is scheduled to begin in March, so we don't know her exact involvement. We don't know if she too will plead guilty, plead guilty. I hope she does. I hope it's um, just makes everything easier for everyone concerned. Um, but uh, either way, we hope a trial ensues and is fair. And we hope that sentencing, if she is found guilty, 
And I personally, as a layman, as an outsider, purely speculating, I can't see how she can't be found guilty, seeing as she lived in the home uh, alongside, you know, the the uh, the husband. I believe I believe the the husband. In any case, we hope that let's say they both uh, spend the rest of eternity in hell. <laughs>